Hi, good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again for another math video. And this video is the continuation of the previous video uploaded. So, nandito pa rin tayo sa writing din yung equation ax plus b y is equals to c in the form of y is equals to mx plus b and vice versa. Sa nauna nating video, we have written the linear equation from the standard form into slope-intercept form. So, for this video, we're going to write linear equation from slope-intercept form to standard form. So, yung kabaligtaran naman. The first example here is y is equals to 3x plus 4. And this is written in slope-intercept form. We're going to rewrite it into the standard form ax plus by is equals to c. So, ano po ba yung napansin nyo? Yung atin pong term na may x variable will be on the left side of the equation again. So, from the right side, mapupunta na ulit siya sa left side. So, ano yung unang gagawin? We have to add the additive inverse of the term with the variable x. The additive inverse of positive 3x is negative 3x. So, we're going to add that on both sides of the equation. Then, dito sa right side, magiging 0 na yung 3x natin, then matitira na lang ay si positive 4. On the left side, we have y minus 3x. We can rewrite that wherein the first term will be the term with the x variable and yung second term ay yung my y variable. So, we're going to have negative 3x, huwag kalimutan yung sign, plus y is equals to 4. Again, negative 3x plus y is equals to 4. So, actually, pwede naman ng ito na yung ating final answer. But, since ang nasa ating standard form is positive yung ating x, we can also divide both sides by negative 1 just to make our first term or the term with the variable x as positive. So, magiging positive Positive 3x yan, magkakaroon tayo ng negative y, and magkakaroon tayo ng negative 4. Kaya po yung result is 3x minus y is equals to negative 4. Pero tandaan nyo po, equal din lang siya sa negative 3x plus y is equals to 4. The same lang po, inalis lang natin yung negative no ating first term. So, maapektuhan din po lahat ng terms sa ating equation. Now, this will be our standard form of the linear equation given on the example number 1 from the slope-intercept form y is equals to 3x plus 4, naging 3x minus y is equals to negative 4 na siya. Okay? For our example number 2, you can post this video for a while and try to rewrite this into the standard form. Tandaan lang po, para maging standard form siya, yung term natin na may x variable, kailangan maisama natin siya dun sa term na may y variable. At ang matitira na lang sa right side ng equation ay yung ating constant. So, post this video for a while and then try to rewrite this and then later on, I will give you the correct standard form for this example. Okay, so the first step is to add the additive inverse of the term with the x variable. So, meron tayong negative 3x. The additive inverse is positive 3x. So, on both sides of the equation, we have to add positive 3x. So, dito sa right side, makakancel na siya, magiging 0. Matitira na lang po ay si negative 3. And then, on the left side, again, rewrite natin siya. Mauuna yung term na may x and then sunod yung term na may y variable. So, the resulting equation is 3x plus y is equals to negative 3. And this is our final answer or the standard form of this equation. From the slope-intercept form, y is equals to negative 3x minus 3. Naging standard form siya, 3x plus y is equals to negative 3. So, wag niyo pong kalimutan, additive inverse of x, and then if kinakailangan mag-divide by negative 1 para maging positive yung ating first term divided by negative 1, then that will be the standard form of the given linear equation. Okay, so for our third example, you can try it again first before I will reveal the standard form for this equation. Y is equals to negative x plus 8. You post this video and try to rewrite this into standard form so that, let's see later on, if you are now knowledgeable enough about writing equation into standard form. Okay, so for the answer or for the standard form of this equation, again, we have to add the additive inverse of negative x that is positive x. So, add on both sides of the equation. On the right side, this will become 0 and 0 plus 8 is 8. And then on the 
left side, kailangan natin siyang i-rewrite. Mauuna si x and then si y. So, we have x plus y is equals to 8. And this will be our standard form of the linear equation. y is equals to negative x plus 8. Move to our fourth example. Pause this video again and try to rewrite this into standard form. Okay, so in this case, we have y is equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 6. Again, sabi ko nga sa inyo dun sa nauna nating video, hindi natin kailangang matakot kapag may nakita tayong fraction or rational expression. We can eliminate the denominator by just multiplying the whole equation by the LCD. Since ang y naman natin, ang denominator niyan ay positive 1, ang denominator din ng 6 ay positive 1. Wala ibang denominator kundi 1 and 3, so the LCD is 3. So, multiply natin yan on both sides of the equation. We're going to have 3 times y, that is 3y. 3 times negative 2 thirds, so makakancel na si denominator, magiging 1 na to. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And then, 3 times 6 is 18. So, ito na yung ating magiging equation ngayon. From here, apply na natin yung steps. We're in... We are going to add the additive inverse of the term with the x variable. So, negative 2x, the additive inverse is positive 2x. So, add on both sides. And then, on the right side, matitira na lang ay si positive 18. And then, on the left side, rewrite natin si 2x and 3y. We're in, mauuna si 2x bago si 3y. And huwag kalimutan yung mga sign. Kailangan po kasama po yan kapag nirewrite natin siya. This will be our standard form of the equation y is equal sa negative 2 third x plus 6. So, ito na po yung ating standard form. Down to our last example, example number 5. So, we have here y is equals to 3 fourth x plus 1 sixth. Again, pause this video for a while and try to rewrite this into standard form. And let's see later on kung tama na nga ba ang inyong sagot. So, this is a rational expression. You don't need to worry. Again, multiply the whole equation by the LCD. What will be the LCD of 4, 6, and 1? Okay, so let's try to solve this. Uh, what is the LCD of 4, 6, and 1? That is positive 12. So that's the least common denominator. 12 times y is 12y. 12 times 3 fourth x. So 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is 9. And then 1 6 times 12. So 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 1 is 2. So from here, we are going to add the additive inverse of positive 9x. And that is negative 9x. On the right side, makakancel na natin yung ating 9x. Magiging 0 na siya. Then matitira na lang ay si positive 2. And here on the left side, rewrite natin where the term with the x variable will be on the first term and then the term with the y variable is next to the first term. Okay? The result is negative 9x plus 12y is equals to 2. Since negative yung ating x, we can uh, divide the whole equation by negative 1 just to make our x or first term positive. So, pwede naman pong hindi na, pero kung nasa choices natin, eh, wala itong ganitong equation, so better divide na natin both sides by negative 1. So, the result will be positive na si 9x, negative si 12y, and negative na rin si 2. So, this will be the standard form of the linear equation y is equals 3 fourth x plus 1 6. So, that's all of the examples for writing linear equation from slope intercept to standard form. And these are the steps we have followed to arrive at our final answer. So, first step is to add additive inverse of x on both sides of the equation. So, nag-add tayo ng additive inverse ng term with the x variable. Then, from that, we have to write our standard form where x is the first term on the left side of the equation. So, syempre, dahil ang standard form nga po ay ax plus by, so, yung term natin na may x variable, dapat nandun siya sa unahan ng ating equation. Then, itong step 3, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na pwede man nang i-skip kung nakita na natin sa ating choices yung equation na yon pero hanggat maaari, divide na rin natin by negative 1 para makita natin na there are two possible 
correct answers. Okay, so if x is negative after adding the additive inverse, divide both sides with negative 1 to make x positive. So, kailangan natin i-divide by negative 1 ang ating whole equation para maging positive ang ating x. And then, kapag may rational expression, kagaya dun sa writing natin ng standard to slope, dito naman ay slope to standard, ganun pa rin. Kung meron tayong rational expression as equation, pwede tayong mag-multiply ng LCD to the whole equation para lang masolve natin ng maayos yung ating equation. Okay? So, again, we have to multiply the LCD on both sides of the equation, then proceed na tayo dito sa ating steps to follow. Okay? So, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something. Writing linear equation ax plus b y is equals to c in the form of y is equals to mx plus b and vice versa. This is the standard form and this is the slope intercept form. So, that's all. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, to like this video, and to hit the notification bell button to you to get notified kapag nag-upload na ako ng another math videos. So, bye bye